Hey Leo, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of March 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of your situations. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on with you for the first half of March. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Sun. All right, that's, that's you right there. Crossed by the Emperor. All right, I feel like um, if this is you, you're, you're really trying to stand in your power. And it could be that you're having a little bit of a challenge, really feeling like you're in control. Um, possibly feeling like it's hard to have control over your own happiness. Um, but I feel like you're getting there. Let's see. Um, that's if this is you, okay? It doesn't have to be, we'll see. Um, Four of Cups, the Empress, and the Chariot. Okay, I see. So you're tr you're feeling disappointed um, in a particular situation here, and it feels like what you're trying to do is you're really trying to work on yourself. You're trying to just come out of this, um, and you're trying to just cope with it as best as you can. And like I said, I feel like you are managing it. Um, it's like trying to take a different direction here, trying to move away from that feeling of disappointment. And I do feel like you are managing it. It's just possibly a little bit more difficult than you would like. But you're doing it. All right, let's see for them. We have the Two of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who is either a little bit in denial or just really stagnant, re um, possibly not able to choose a side here is what I'm getting. Um, there's something about this that feels very challenging for them when it comes to taking some action and so they're just choosing to not take action, basically. Um, but it's interesting though, because we do also have the Knight of Pentacles. So I do see them moving. It just feels like it's very, very slow. I feel like there's something here that they are trying to push through. Um, possibly a situation where they've been indecisive or a situation where they've been in denial. And oh, it feels like they have not given up yet. It's just taking a while. <laughs> All right, let's see the potential outcome way here. We have the Five of Swords. All right, this could be a very negative card, but it could also be positive, really depends on the context. So I'm gonna wait and see when we clarify. But basically, um, somebody is fighting here. Somebody is fighting, it's just a question of whether they're fighting, which battle are they fighting? Are they fighting the good battle or are they fighting the bad battle? Um, that's what I'm getting here, so let's see. So for some of you, um, with the Sun and the Emperor as the very first cards out, it could also be that um, there's happiness here and somebody is just not able to go after it. I actually feel like, um, like for you, this is you trying to find your happiness by moving away from the disappointment, trying to get yourself out of that. And then I feel like for the other person, um, this is them just really not knowing how to even go about finding their happiness. Well, let's see. Let's clarify. Sun and the Ember. The Hermit. The Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody's avoiding their happiness. Um, like I said, I, the, this is definitely for representing the both of you, but each of you in a different way. Um, I definitely feel like there has been some quiet time, okay, between the two of you. Somebody is keeping to themselves. I feel like it's mostly the other person, judging by their energy down here. 
um, who's in that hermit mode, just keeping their distance, um, going within, being just closed off to their own self. Even though with the Six of Cups, there's a lot of nostalgia here. There's a lot of nostalgia, but it's like somebody's ignoring it, like turning their back to it, trying to sneak away, trying not to feel that. And this could be why, you know, if, some, if you're denying your feelings, um, well then, how can you find happiness? So I feel like that's actually what's going on here with the other person. For you, you're, you're beginning to take control of this a little bit. Let's see, Four of Cups. Four of Cups for you. The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Cups. All right, well, they have the Nine of Wands down here. Yeah, it feels like you feel like they've given up. You feel like they've given up um, in terms of moving towards you, and this has left you feeling disappointed. That's like from your perspective, they're not fighting. They're not fighting for this. You feel, you either feel ignored or just like, you know, they're not accepting your offer or um, you feel like they might not even be looking your way at all at the moment. Let's see the Empress. Justice. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's taking some effort. It's taking some effort um, from your from your end. But with justice being here, I feel like you know you're you're on the right path, regardless of what the outcome is here. Okay, regardless of whether um, this person does end up coming your way or whether you do end up together, what you're doing at the moment is what you are meant to be doing. Um, for some of you, I feel like you might be getting some some external help, assistance, maybe from a friend, maybe from like, you know, some kind of um, counseling therapist, or maybe just, you know, any kind of self-healing. And you're being encouraged to continue doing that, okay? If you already are, and if you're not, um, and you feel like you might benefit from it, well then this is, this is your sign to do so. Because that will really help you to just Heal your own self, basically. Heal your own self and to move forward in a way that is going to be good for you regardless of the outcome here. Let's see the chariot. Yeah, four of swords. Get one more. And the six of swords. Yeah, okay, so see, this is what is going to help you heal. And I feel, again, I feel like for the most part, like you're already doing it. It's just that for some of you, um, a little bit of extra guidance might might be beneficial. All right, but there's definitely a lot of healing here that is happening for you. And I do see you moving away from that conflict that, you know, even if you still feel disappointed with the way things have worked out up until this point, um, you will feel a lot better than what you have been feeling. All right, taking this new direction. Um, for some of you, it might even feel like it's um, something new, something different, something unknown. So sometimes that can come with a little bit of uncertainty. It's okay. That's actually, whatever it is, it's going to help you. You're, you're moving away from this conflict. You're moving away from um, just, you know, feelings, emotions, situations that are not serving you. And so you are moving towards finding that self-empowerment. By the way, I do love that we have both the Emperor and the Empress out here. Because <laughs> um, I do feel like for some of you, this is definitely going to be like one of those really difficult soul connections that you're dealing with. And that would explain why there, there seems to be like so much challenge here. Right? Um, and just to call out some of the signs that are showing up, we do have... Aries, um, Leo, again, you might be dealing with another Leo. We have Libra and Cancer. Right. But of course, could be any sign that you are dealing with. Oh, and Virgo. Yeah, so lots of signs out here. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Two of Swords. 
The King of Wands and the King of Swords. Wow, okay, two kings here. So this is what this person is struggling with. This person is trying to make a decision. Um, or they're just being, yeah, it, it feels like either way they go, they feel like it's, it's a challenge. And so they just choose to not do anything. Um, but they're struggling with these two energies here, right? With the kings. The kings are very decisive. The, these two kings, especially, right? They overcome challenges. They make, they're very decisive, especially the king of swords, right? And the king of wands overcomes challenges. So this is what they're having a hard time doing and, and staying stagnant on. However, it also feels like it's like they're torn between um, thinking too rationally, maybe, on the one hand, like over analyzing something, thinking too much about it, thinking like, you know what, well, this just seems like the more logical thing to do. But on the other hand, right, is passion where that's telling them something different. And so it's like torn between these two clashing energies from within. And that's why they just don't, they don't really move much. But like I said, there is some movement here with this knight. At least they're, they're moving in the direction of movement. <laughs> At the very least. Let's see the nine of wands. The three of cups and the queen of swords. Yeah, it's like what's happening here is they're moving from being um, in this stagnant energy to having clarity that they want this three of cups, that they want this reconciliation. But it's still it's still a bit of a challenge for them. I They have not given up, though. It might feel like they have to you, as I said before, but they haven't. This is still something that they're thinking about. This is still something that they are envisioning. And I feel like, you know, that is what's going to push them um, just over the edge to at least start taking some steps here. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. And then, of course, I mean, you can, you can choose to handle this however you want when the time comes. But, yeah, that's just what I'm seeing here. So let's see. Knight of Pentacles. The devil and the world. Okay, well, I'm glad to see the world <laughs> um, together with that devil because this does talk about a completion. So it's like this person is beginning to take certain steps and start moving, right? At, at least they're moving. Um, that's going to come with an ending of some kind of a toxic situation that they're dealing with, all right? This is also Capricorn energy. Um, so, I mean, and this could be anything, this could be an addiction, this could be a fear, this could be, um, another, another relationship, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship necessarily, but it's something that's been toxic or unhealthy that is closing out. And because of that, I mean, I don't, I don't feel like it's a hundred percent gone. Okay. During this time. Um, but it is closing out successfully and because of that this person starts moving so let's see the five of swords then that four of cups just dropped out all right so we have the four of cups the four of wands and the high priestess Okay, so I feel like um, trust might be an issue here. I'm not sure on whose side, um, but trust might definitely be be an issue at some point here. I feel like it's um, it's like there is this movement, right? There is this movement towards where somebody is meant to go, right? And I do feel like that is on their end. All right, this is somebody following their intuition. However, it this person might be coming in a way where it's like a little bit sneaky, but I'm not seeing like bad intentions. It could just be that they are, um, they might eventually present themselves like with some kind of an excuse, for example. Like they might not be 100% honest um, when they 
if, if there's communication or when they um, move towards you, I feel like there's still going to be a sense of them either hiding it, right? Because with the High Priestess, it's also um, not speaking much, not speaking much. And with the Four of Cups, it's like, yeah, it's like still that, that Four of Cups that you are in. I feel like it's mostly going to be on their end where they might feel a little bit disappointed with their own selves or with the situation. And it could even be that you you feel that as well because you might see them come in in a way where they're not being 100% open just yet. But again, I feel like that's because it's taking some time. I feel like this, um, this cycle is closing out and that might also take a little bit of time. And then it's going to take them um, a bit of time in order to really get themselves together. And so because of all of this, yeah, trust might be a little bit of an issue, but I do not see bad intentions from this person. I feel like this person is also still healing. And so they're holding they're holding back a bit. Even though with that four of wands, I mean they really feel like this is, you know, where they belong. And possibly even wanting commitment with you. Possibly even marriage for once. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're keeping it to themselves for the time being until they're more ready. All right, Leo. Let's see if this resonated. And I don't think, I mean, that this is going to take forever. It just feels like for the first half of March at least, okay, or around thereof. Okay, so the final message for you is the new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Yeah, stay confident in the direction that you're moving. And not only that, be confident in your path, right? In that you are moving in the right path and that you will have that fulfillment. You will have that happiness that you are seeking. All right, Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.